<laughs> now we get through the bridge and we go to the left and dominating the skyline is London's most visited tourist attraction, the London Eye. The wheel on the left holds 32 of those pods and each pod represents a borough here in London. It takes about 30 minutes to complete a full circle. Although on very busy days, they have been known to speed it up to get as many people on as possible. Now on a clear day here in London, from the top of the eye, you're going to see for about 30 miles in every direction. If you wanted to, for a small price, you could hire a pod on the eye for a private function, a birthday party, or even a Yes, you can now get married on the London Eye. A few years ago, British Airways obtained the license, which allows them to perform marriage ceremonies on the London Eye. And to date, there's been over 200 weddings take place on the Eye. They announced just before Christmas last year that since it opened in the year 2000, it has carried 45 million passengers. They also estimate each time it completes a full circle, it earns Merling, the eye's owner, ten and a half thousand pounds, one complete turn. Now, when it first opened back in the year 2000, it was just five pounds a person to go on the eye. Today, it's almost 20 pounds a person to go That's on the London eye. They do no concessions for the young or the old. And if you think a family of, say, five, they come to London for the day, they want to go on the eye, it's going to cost them about £100 for half an hour, which, uh, in my opinion, is a bit of a rip-off. But, whatever you think of it, folks, the London Eye is, without doubt, a great feat of engineering. And if you can drag your attention away from the eye, ahead of us on the right, we have a, a great view here of the Houses of Parasites. The Parliament, sorry, the Houses of Parliament, I've got to stop doing that. The Palace of Westminster, the seat of the British government. And in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, this is, without doubt, the most beautiful building on the banks of the River Thames. It is a shame about the people that work inside it, they do rather spoil it, and I don't think they deserve it. Put your hand up if you can see Big Ben. <laughs> Quite a few of you can. Well, that was a, a trick question. It wasn't fair, really, because none of us can see Big Ben. 